It is a beautiful, cool morning here in Fayette, Michigan, where we spent a really wonderful afternoon here with uh, fellow loopers Mo Whiskey and explored the town and some of the history behind it here. But we are going to get underway here real soon. The winds are starting to calm down and we will be heading over to Escanaba, Michigan, where we plan to spend a few days there. So, let's go. You're perfect. Just keep going straight back just like you are. Really nice. How deep is it here, Sam? Okay. Those, you know, the old docks are back there and the wind's taking you that way. So, you're looking good. How's it feel, honey? All right, great. It is a little chilly. It was 50 degrees when we got up this morning. End of July. Crazy. I do see some white caps out there though, but it's a lot less than earlier. So, en route to our destination here, Escanaba, and only about uh, six miles to go, we decided to put the, here's to us, the high speed setting here, doing about 20 miles an hour. And we're going to fill up with fuel I'll be taking on about 450 gallons of fuel and uh, also pump out both of the heads and then settle down in the slip and enjoy Escanaba. It's a beautiful, cool day out there. In fact, I had to shut some of the windows here uh, upstairs. We have had such a leisurely nice day on the water. Sam's bringing it back right now. We were up on plane for, I don't know, it wasn't too long, half hour or so. And we are coming into Escanaba. About an hour and a half so far. So when we get there, it'll be just like a two hour cruise. But a very beautiful, nice, pleasant, serene day on the Great Loop. Taking on about 450 gallons of diesel here, but look what they have. As I'm pumping the diesel, and don't worry about that water, uh, we had an eye on it, we blocked it up, but this pump out is unique. One of the best pump outs we ever had, and you'll see is it is pumping it out of one of the heads. We have two pump out locations on there, but then he will also stop the pump out and put fresh water into the tank and we don't have to disconnect that so then he'll stop that he put some water in there and he'll continue to pump it out and it did a really great job first time I've ever seen that contraption but it is absolutely amazing okay we just got fuel and a pump out and now we're going over to our slip here at Escanaba Municipal Marina. <laughs> Sam's doing his thing. All right, we're going over here to slip nine. We got settled in the marina and it was very peaceful there. There was a marina fest and they had bands one day so we decided to stay a few days and during the marina fest uh, the harbor host Ray came out and later during the week he and his wife took us on a tour of the upper peninsula and a bunch of the falls so we are here on Lake Superior again and we are at the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore it's about 50 miles long, goes from Grand Marais down to Munising, and uh, getting out and seeing the sights. 
So we're standing here at the Overlook and looking down at Miner's Castle on Lake Superior. And you can see out there Kayak King. Probably some rental agency with kayaking. Beautiful day. So we are in the wilderness right now. Heading up to the Unissing Falls. But look at this beautiful brook here. And hopefully you can hear the sounds of the trickling water. Well, here we are at Munising Falls. Look at that. Awesome. And it actually, in the winter time, it does freeze. Hard to believe. Well, another waterfall here called the Wagner Waterfall. And you can feel the cool air coming as that water rushes down. Pretty incredible. So we are in downtown Marquette, and that's uh, an abandoned ore dock where the iron ore was loaded. You can see out here where we are downtown. I'm gonna go see some friends that are docked up here. We had such a good time here at Escanaba. We decided to stay for five nights and we were able to use the bicycles. Free bicycles. Out. Yeah, free that was bicycles. A really nice surprise. Uh, lots of great restaurants. Gosh, what do we ate at uh, Rosie's for Rosie's breakfast? Diner. You got to go oh, to Rosie's. Best and, omelet and I've also, ever had. So, what was it? Moe's? Moe's the Pub. Tavern, Moe's mm -hmm. Pub. And, in Hereford and Hops. Oh, I think. yes. You got to pick your own steak. Yes. And actually, there's also a place that we heard of that another looper found where you could go and get the steaks cut fresh. Uh, hmm. They were the same steaks that the Hereford had from that butcher, but that was awesome. Great. We did end up riding those bikes all over town. We rode it to Walmart and loaded up the little baskets on front on the front uh, provision <laughs> that way. That was a first for us. And we rode them downtown. I even went to the library to work on a few videos. Yeah, so all in all, Escanaba, it's kind of a little bit out of the way, but certainly was worth the trip. Hey, check out that house on that pontoon boat. How would you like to do the great loop on that, huh? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks for coming along with us on this trip from Fayette over to Escanaba, Michigan. See you next time. On What You Have To Do.